Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. All right, today we're going to try and recreate this chart. Um, it was presented in the Denver Post, and I, it intrigued me, and I put it in as our recent Friday challenge. Um, the challenge was is there's no Excel line style that represents what you see here uh, in these green and blue lines that are a growth in the overall state budget. Um, in Colorado and uh, the line style, notice it's a straight line and then it's got a dot of, or a marker but there's a gap around it and you just don't have those as normal Excel line styles uh, when you're making a chart so uh, let's go ahead and show you how we can make that. Um, Alright, so we have our data set up here over in the top left hand corner. Got our chart here for reference and let's go about making it. Uh, first thing that we need to do is we need to create this extra line that is going to represent our horizontal axis. So let's go ahead and uh, and create the line itself. So we'll call it new axes and uh, it is all equal to negative 5%. So I'm just going to copy that over, copy it down, and we're going to have a flat line at negative 5%. Also, we uh, to represent the uh, OT7, OT8, you know, 2010, where it's got the little uh, uh, apostrophe and then two digits for the year, we need to create that as well. And we'll call that new axis labels. And this is going to be equal to, um, I'm going to do a single, uh, double quote. I'm going to put a single quote in between that and end it with another double quote. Looks like a lot of quotes there, but uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and then do the ampersand symbol and I'm going to do the right of the years that we have over here and we're going to say the right two of that year. So now you see we have a apostrophe 07, apostrophe 08, 09, 10, 11 and we have everything set up that we need right now for uh, recreating this chart. Alright, now that we've got our data set up, um, let's go ahead and create our chart by selecting A1 through E7 we don't want to select F, the column of F, because we're just going to use that for labels of our horizontal axes. Uh, and now let's go up to our insert ribbon. We're going to choose in our chart group the line type, and we're going to choose a 2D line chart with markers. Right, let me move that over here, and then let's make it about the same size. Let's go ahead and modify the chart title. Make this called growth. And um, in our axes, you see we've got this new axes uh, line showing up in our legend. We want to select our legend, then select that line uh, um, legend value, and then hit your delete key and get rid of it. Now, you can move your legend up to the top like it has in our reference chart, um, or you can go up to your design ribbon, go to add chart element, go to legend, and then let's change it to the top value here, and it will move it right above the chart for you. All right, next, um, what we want to do is we do have this horizontal axis that is already there. We want to select that and hit our delete key. Don't want to show our, axis, our horizontal axis at all since this purple line here is going to represent our horizontal axis. Now, go ahead and select the horizontal axis. And then what we want to do is we want to hit Control-1 on your keyboard, or you can right-click on it and do Format Data Series. And you'll get this dialog box that you can move around within Excel 2013. And uh, what we want to do is let's go ahead and change the line to a solid line. And we want to choose a color of something dark gray, let's say. Uh, and now we also want to um, uh, change our marker. Let's do our marker border of no line. And let's do our marker fill of a solid fill. And let's make it white. Uh, this will give us space for our, um, our legend values. Uh, to show up being the you know the apostrophe 07, 08, and so forth. Um, finally, we want to change our uh, marker options here, and let's make sure we choose built-in. We're going to do the circle, and let's increase the size kind of large so that we can uh, have our uh, label our access labels show up as well. So let's go ahead and select the chart. And you notice you've got these dashes here now that are showing up that are representing our horizontal axis. So what we need to do is we need to add data labels to those. So go ahead and select that line and go up to your uh, design ribbon, add chart element, data labels, and we're going to do this more data labels options. 
Now, when in your dialog box, what you want to do is choose value from cells, and this is only in Excel 2013. Uh, once you do that, this dialog box comes up and says, what range do you want? And I'm just going to highlight the range of our new axis labels that we created in column F and click on OK. And then we need to uncheck value, uncheck show leader lines, and let's do label position of center. And we can close that down. Let's go ahead and take a look. And you look, uh, notice that our uh, legend now uh, closely mirrors what you, or I'm sorry, our horizontal axis closely mirrors what you saw uh, in uh, the Denver Post chart. OK, now let's make that special li other line style that we had up here um, above. Uh, we need this space or this gap around our markers so that these lines look a little neat, uh, neater, cooler. Uh, I like it a lot. So um, what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and select any one of our lines, right click on it, do Format Data Series. In your Format Data Series dialog box, we want to go to the uh, Series, uh, I'm sorry, we want to go over here to the Fill and Line Options. In our line, we want to do a solid line, and let's make sure we go ahead and, and pick that first blue color that we want. I'm doing this because I want to make sure that they're, they're both tied together, uh, both the line and the markers. Um, next, what we want to do is we want to change our marker options here, and we want to do built-in instead of automatic so that they're always the same. We want to make sure and choose the circle feature here, and then let's increase our circle size up to about 10 and we can shrink that down for that and then on our fill instead of doing automatic we want to do a solid fill and let's choose that same blue color so we make sure everything is linked together now here's kind of a little bit of the magic and, and what we want to do is we want to change our border on our marker options to be a solid line and we want to change it to white color of white and then let's make it sort of large let's make it about mm, two and a quarter two and a half points and uh, let's close that down and see what that looks like. You can now see we've got that gap around just like we had in our reference chart, and we've been able to do that with our normal Excel settings. So let we just repeat these same steps for the green and red line. So right click on it, Format Data Series. We want to go to our uh, Fill and Line options. Let's go ahead and choose a solid line and choose a green color. Uh, and then we can get rid of that and go to the marker options. We want to make sure and choose built in and choose the circle option. And we want to raise the circle up to, I think we said 10 is what we had before. On our fill, we want to do solid fill and make sure we choose that same green color. And like I say, I do that just to make sure that everything stays in step uh, with the line and the markers. And then our border, we want to do a solid line and choose white. And we want to increase this to, I think we had two and a half points. All right, let's take a look at our chart. Green looks pretty good. Let's do the red. I do not need to get rid of this uh, uh, a dialog box here for my um, formatting of series. I can just leave it open and click on my next line, the red one. Let's change the line to a solid line and make sure we pick red. Um, for our markers, we want to do marker options and make sure we choose the circle so it doesn't affect it on us. Move the size to 10. Uh, and our fill, we're going to do solid fill of red. And we want to do a border of a solid line, and we want to do white with two and a half points. And that should uh, get us pretty close to what we want to do. Now, you'll notice that our line is going behind um, the 2011, and that kind of matches here what you see uh, in the Denver Post. If you want this to be totally in the back, your new horizontal axis, um, go ahead and select the line, right click on it, and do Format Data Series. Um, oops, I'm sorry, that's not where you do it. What you want to do is you want to select your chart. You want to go up to your design ribbon. In your design ribbon, you have the select data um, option. Once you select that, you want to take this new axis and just move it over in the legend entry in series and move it straight up to the top. And when you click on OK, you'll notice that the red line now is on top of, instead of being behind, um, the access point. So kind of personal preference. Uh, final thing that we want to do is in our uh, formatted uh, chart over here from the reference chart, we want to change our grid lines. Let's go ahead and do uh, right click on our grid lines and do Format Grid Lines. And we want to change our line to be a solid line. And we want to change the dash type to this dash right here. And we probably want to increase the point. And we want to make sure we choose, a, uh, let's say, a dark gray. Uh, oh, let's not make our point so big on that. But once again, you want to choose a dash type of these dots. Um, 
change, make sure your color is a solid line and then uh, increase your points to the appropriate size that you want uh, to give it the effect you desire. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, this is Steve equals true. Uh, please visit my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com so you can make other great charts like these. Um, also, uh, please consider subscribing to my video channel so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.